Hey guys, check out my brand new special. That's right guys, today we're checking out my new Kramer Beretta Special. This guitar has been around for a couple of years at least and you'll find a lot of videos on YouTube of guys talking about this guitar. And there are a lot of guys, a lot of people talking about how great it is and how much they like it. So I finally decided to see for myself, is this guitar worth all the hype? And I'll get to that in a minute, but first, I want you guys to hear me play it. So as usual, I wrote an all new jam on this guitar just for this video. Alright guys, so what'd you think? Let me just say that this is a really good guitar and I do like it quite a bit, but I don't necessarily know if I would say it's the best $200 guitar that you can buy. Are you kidding me? What? It clearly is the best $200 guitar that you can buy. So I see you've got the same Kramer Beretta Special as me, even the same colors. Yeah. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Anyway, I, I'm not saying it's bad. Well, what are you saying then? I'm just saying that there might be other better options for the same amount of money. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You disagree? Anyone with half a brain will disagree. So this is a great guitar. Ah, uh, hello? How many times do I have to say it? And you can play and sound awesome on it? Duh! Okay, so why don't you go ahead and uh, give us a demonstration then? Oh, I, I, I would, but um, I don't have an amp. Got one right here. I don't have a cable. Here you go. Oh, wouldn't you know it, I forgot my pick. Okay, fine. So you'll play something then? Yeah, I'll play a solo. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> I told you! You know what? You were right. This clearly is the best $200 guitar that you can buy. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to play that amazing solo. Well, my work here is done. I'm out of here. Okay, later. Okay guys, as far as the guitar goes, it's a mahogany body, it's a maple neck, maple fretboard, 22 frets, 
one humbucker, one volume, your basic six crew vintage style trim bridge. And it's got the Kramer banana headstock with six chrome tuners. This is a very nicely built, very well put together, good design as far as like a basic 80s shredder guitar goes. I'm not going to say that the pickup sounds amazing, but it's pretty good and I think it's good enough for this guitar. The neck profile is pretty good. Again, uh, I don't feel like it's great or amazing, but it's pretty good. It's not big, thick, and chunky, but for me, when I'm holding it, when I'm playing it, I do feel like maybe it could just be like a tad thinner. Just a tiny bit, not much, but it's pretty good as is. The fret work was good on it. I was able to lower the action a little bit on the saddles. I didn't have to adjust the truss rod. I got good action. Playability is real good on this. And one of the main draws to this guitar, guys, is basically the looks, right? It's a Kramer. It just instantly zips you back to the 80s. It's got that 80s look. It, it, you know, it's got the vibes of like, Eddie Van Halen, Richie Sambora, and all those guys that used Kramers back in the 80s, George Lynch. Remember, Richie Sambora had the white Kramer with the maple fretboard. I know it wasn't a Beretta like this, and it had the three pickups and the Floyd Rose, but you know, generally, I mean, it kind of gives you that vibe. So yeah, it's a very cool guitar. I like it, plays good, sounds good. But when I first got it and I first plugged it in and I started noodling around on it and started shredding on it, I found myself wanting to reach down and flick the pickup selector to go to the neck pickup because I'm used to having a neck pickup in just about all my guitars. So that was kind of weird at first, but then I got used to that and it was, yeah, no big deal, it's fine. So, is the guitar overhyped? No, I don't think so. It's a really good guitar, very well made. 200 bucks, or in my case, I got it for 179 Great deal. Yeah, I definitely think it's worth the money. And oh yes, this guitar does get the Bald Shredder stamp of approval. <laughs> Sounds good, plays good. However, I will stick to my statement saying that I don't think it's the best guitar that you can get for around 200 or under 200 I'm going to say that the Fesley guitar is a better option and that's less than 200 And I'm gonna say that because on the Fesley, you have more pickup options. It's got the humbucker and the two single coil, so you can get, you know, more different sounds. Also, the Fesley has a much better bridge and the neck is a little better on the Fesley. It's a little bit thinner, better profile. But what does this have that the Fesley doesn't? Name recognition. And it's a Kramer. And there's a lot of value in that, let me tell you. All right, guys, so that's it as far as my demo and review on the Kramer Beretta Special. Be sure to let me know what you think. Do you have one of these guitars? Have you ever had a chance to check one out? Are you thinking about getting one? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>